Alright, so I uh, had to take a little break there from the game. Um, just before, uh, just before the final clash. I think these mutant, uh, mutant elites were on Overwatch, which is a bit of a problem. Can you see someone? You can see that's one guy. And, and you two can't even go through this thing <coughs> without exposing yourselves. There's no cover here. I don't like that one bit. You fellows still have ghost left. Not many, but some. Can't really, uh, can't really leave myself in the open, because those ethereals will mind control me, or worse. I don't know what what the hell can this thing do? No, wait. Let's take someone who sees them. You see them? No, you don't. Who sees them? You see. All right. What can you do, Uber Ethereal, with your 50% defense? Ah, uh, it has the Rift ability as well. Psy Lands. Psy Drain. All, all not so pleasant things. And on top of all that, you are all on, all on Overwatch. You can all see Android, so if Android moves, they will all take shots. Well, maybe not all of them. Two will. One will miss. You could take care of this guy, but that would... How can I do that without exposing myself to the ethereals? By going here? Can you survive one shot from that guy? Will those guys shoot you? I think I need to take some shots here. I could use the... I guess I could use the ghost, but... Wait. Bishop, move. Oh, all of them! Oh. oh, Bishop, you are a badass. How is that flank? How is that flank, Bishop? Well... Now the overwatches are gone. <laughs> Good job, Bishop. Oh, come on. Target still up. Needed to, needed to hit after that. Well, now we don't have overwatches to worry about. I should have just taken this shot because you can shoot a lot better. Still couldn't kill it. Where the hell will I take you? I can't take you anywhere, anywhere safe. Let's take the shot with you now that we have a chance. Mm, I think you will go here. 
90% shotgun that's gone. Well, actually, you know what? You will ghost. You will go here, watch those guys. Maybe shoot one of them if they come your way. You can't even go through that. Yeah, I think I need to take a risk and go here where there's no cover. And uh, just to do something. Same thing with you. You could... No, I won't use that. You can't do that all the way in there, can you? No. You can't even see through that freaking stupid doorway. Why did they build... Why did they build this kind of door here, Halik? You need to fight in this room. This is the last battle. I don't like this. Nah, is that all you can do? Oh, please don't overwatch. Oh, damn it. Well, interestingly, they didn't, uh, they didn't do anything else, and you, uh, you stopped overwatching. Down. You still have ghost left. Mm. Stupid overwatching. Mutons. Mm. I think I will ghost with you. One last time. But what and how will I do it? Ghosting. I mean, where? If these guys keep overwatching, I can't can't do anything from there. Well, I can do, but... So maybe I'd be... Mm, there's of course that close... Close combat specialist danger. Go there. We will be, be able to shoot this guy and that ethereal hopefully moves forward. Because at the moment they don't see anyone. Which would mean that... I think you guys can run here. It's not cover. They won't be able to see you. They saw a glimpse of you running there. We'll be able to overwatch if someone comes up the stairs. It's quite risky. So I have no idea what the enemy will do now. I think you will overwatch. I've got my eyes on. So will you. Roger that. Scanning. Okay. Interesting. Did you hear the sounds? Okay, good. Don't overwatch. Son of a bitch. And now we have interesting options because you can move there and you can probably rift from there. Then the thing is, can we move, move for the kill here? Hmm. Shield has two... Two ghost left. Let's use Ghosting. one. Let's use one and uh, go take a look. Okay, so the big one is there. Hmm. You can move there, right? You can see. 
that's one. Can you rift down there? Yes, you can. That's the only one you can see that's pretty interesting. If I rocket with you, you need to do it now. I don't really want to do it blind, but uh, I will. Leave sledge without a cover, but I think that's fine. There'll be nine damage and shred. There was the other... Other ethereal was there as well. The third one is here somewhere. Now that Uber is the only one who can see you. Will this damage that one or is this like kind of a level thing? Well, place a drift there. Or rift. Will it even damage the... Yeah. I started thinking that will it even damage the ethereals. Oh, that was dumb. Well, not dumb, but wasted. It would have pretty much killed the mutant elites. Well, I guess I will uh, shoot you. What? What the hell is happening? The ship itself is... behaving like a dying star. Becoming a black hole. At this distance, the Earth will be consumed. Central, I'm bugging out. The package is not on board. Waited as long as I could, sir. Sir, the alien ship is in motion. What direction? What direction? Up. Alright. An android survived all the missions. Um, so all that was needed... All that was needed was um, killing the uber ethereal.
<laughs> All right. And I sacrificed herself for humanity. Me versus the world. How can I get that close to the world average if this is such? <laughs> well, I kept 16 funding countries. Alright, interesting stats. Lost four soldiers. Interestingly, that's pretty much the average on impossible. Is this the total score of the whole world? I don't know, that's probably some sort of a, some sort of buck or something, I don't know. One out of four. Alright, more stats. Average shot percentage, 68. Average number of turns per battle, 17. One shot kills, 231. 47 aliens killed by explosives. 74 days for first colonel. That's quite fast. 135 wounded days. Just three psionic soldiers. The world number is not that much bigger, so I guess it's normal. 11 UFOs. I didn't lost, uh, lost any interceptors. 136 days for Firestorm. Alright, what's next? Scientists, 82. Three laboratories, that's... Well, I probably should have already built two, but it didn't really matter. All technologies researched. All species captured. I built quite many workshops. Saving quite a bit. I didn't build many unnecessary things, really. All the foundry projects built everything right next to each other. 20,000 total credits. Yeah, in the, in the end you uh, you get more than more than you need for the alien alloys, even that they are a kind of bottleneck early on. Days until second satellite, days until the third satellite, all on all on the thirty days. First continent, yeah. I, I was, um, I had to place the satellites, satellites to save the countries that I was about to lose, and uh, would need some luck with those to uh, get the continent covered. Uh, on a classic difficulty, that's probably quite easy, and lower difficulties. All right. That was uh, that was mostly mostly enjoyable. Let's play, I, I'd say. Really enjoyed the game. Um, I've always always loved turn-based uh, tactics games and this kind of um, this kind of took that to a. Uh, to a to a different different level. Not not saying that this is the best turn-based tactics game, but it's been a it's been a while since there has been, or at least that I have played new this type of game. Like now that I'm thinking back, Jack the Lions 2 is probably the only one I've played uh, in a while. Hmm. But going going back to the 
original UFO enemy unknown, Jack the Lions, Jack the Lions 2. Um, yeah, this is this is the type of game I probably probably like the like the most. In addition to uh, role playing games, um, if there there were many flaws in this game and game and those uh, there were quite quite many bugs and uh, the the system how the enemies spawn uh, that's something. Something I really don't like, but then on the other hand, that's the gaming mechanic and uh, the way the way the game works with just the two moves. It's uh, it works okay, and uh, the only only downside in that that it becomes what you play around. You uh, you try not to trigger more than one group. You play carefully, carefully trying to be in good position when you spot one. And it kind of becomes the leading leading mechanic in the battle, uh, avoiding avoiding growing too many too many groups. But uh, in the end, it's 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 fine. Um, what I, if there was one thing that uh, I would have liked to see in this game was more personality for the soldiers. Um, Probably because I like I like the Jack the Lion series so much, this game would have been even better and on a whole another level if uh, if the soldiers were personalities like they are in uh, in Jack the Lions. Um, but then on the other hand, in the spirit of the original game, this was more in that direction. And uh, well, now that I think of it, when I mentioned the original. Um, I, I liked how they uh, did this in uh, pretty much in a com uh, this this wasn't a remake they they made their own game using the original as inspiration and and things like that but one thing they really should have had in this game was uh, uh, inventory uh, I like the simplified inventory that you just have the weapons and you don't have to have to do things like that and then limited limited grenades and things like that that goes well with the gaming mechanic but picking up equipment in the fight that's that's uh, some i really i really didn't need that in this second series but in the first one when my guys were dying and uh, the guy who was carrying the arc thrower always died and i couldn't pick it up why can't I pick the extra grenade from the other soldiers and things like that? That's that's something I would have liked to see. But everything that was in the game worked together to bring that this game's mechanics. That worked all right. Um, the, um, hmm. The last last fight and the kind of a main plot there in the end, I guess that was that was um, I kind of expected it to go that way. I hoped there would have been something uh, deeper there, like uh, like the aliens would have actually been been humans from far 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 future coming back to a. Uh, Triggered events again, and why the heck the temple ship is still there? <laughs> uh, anyway, but uh, the aliens, aliens saw the potential of humans and tried to tried to make us into into their uh, one last final piece of evolution. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Looking back on how I played, uh, well, obviously I did okay because I beat the game, um, and I didn't lose too many soldiers. Mm. The game I I enjoyed the most the early parts of the game when I started having plasma weapons on everyone had the good armor, uh, especially the plasma snipers. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying the game became easy, but uh, 
the sense of danger wasn't wasn't really there. Perhaps it was because I was so confident in uh, how I was playing, uh, because the style I was exploring, the locations was working well. There were a couple of interesting situations in the in the terror missions. Um, that uh, that were were fun and. Uh, because of they were they were so, so challenging in a way unfair the game throwing all the enemies at me at once but uh, in a way in a way I at, at in those moments I didn't really enjoy it that much because but uh, thinking of it afterwards I really liked uh, liked those unfair situations because they were the most challenging situations in the game but. Um, Especially when I got all the equipment, got all the armors, got all the weapons. Um, they uh, they were almost overpowered, and uh, because of well, I guess I could have could have gone could have started the final mission right away when I got it, but I kept playing to train the train the groups. The, um, after after the overseer UFO. Getting the getting the ethereal device, um, and having having all that gear there, uh, there wasn't a new new kind of challenge challenge there anymore. But uh, partly that was because I uh, covered managed to cover all the countries. I got uh, uh, no um, no abduction missions. The UFO missions were. Uh, they were kind of generic, kind of the generic, uh, in a way. There was no, uh, there was no big surprises in them. In in a way, uh, those little bugs teleporting mutants, and uh, and such, uh, they actually gave the game more interesting because there was that sense of danger. Interestingly, uh, I think the patrol mechanic and uh, kind of uh, AI should have been a bit better like uh, I would have liked the game to throw me uh, surprises like enemies patrolling behind me into areas I I, uh, I had gone through and um, and then uh, the enemy AI after I had spotted them the way they uh, they uh, overwatched stayed in cover and uh, they pretty much didn't move like they did one, they did one move that turn. That uh, they last saw me, but then they stayed in one place, and I didn't like that at all. In in some very rare cases, they uh, for some I don't know how the AI works. Maybe they heard me moving or something, and because of that they moved. In some rare cases, they moved around and tried to tried to flank me, but uh, most of the time they just just stayed where I last saw them and uh, that was kind of uh, a... made things even easier. Um, but yeah, all in... Ah, these credits are long. Well, I guess it's good because there's uh, so, so many things to say about this game. Um, and now that I said that, I forgot what I was saying. Well, yeah, my uh, my or original four all survived. Demon and Dozer weren't in the weren't in the last mission, but um, but Bishop and Android were. Um, the the kind of uh, last last thoughts, overall impression. Uh, Really enjoyed the game. Really enjoyed the game a lot. Uh, and um, yeah, one one thing I really hope, especially because XCOM Enemy Unknown was selected as the PC Game of the Year in uh, Video Game Awards 2012. I really hope this brings turn-based turn-based games kind of. Well, they have, they have never been away, but I hope this brings turn-based games back. XCOM 
enemy unknown. You might say you might not like this game as much. You would you like you like the original more. But the fact is that was done in 1994. This was done in 2012, and there there isn't enough turn-based games in this in this uh, at these times. I hope this brings turn-based game turn-based games back, and the publishers see that there's potential in these, and more of these will be made in in many many different uh, areas they can be sci-fi like this they can be fantasy but uh, that's uh, that's that's really what i what i probably hope the most that uh, we'll see more more turn-based tactics games um i wouldn't even uh, because this game has been relatively successful there might even be a sequel in the making for this and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that, and I would very likely play that if, if they would make it. But uh, I think that's enough for um, for now. So uh, what is left is uh, thanking you. I thank you for watching this final video in this uh, in this let's play. I thank you for watching the whole let's play if you did. I hope you enjoyed this uh, series one. If you watch the series, series two. If you watch the series one, uh, the blind one. Uh, thank you for that as well again. And um, yeah, if you watched this far, I uh, I assume you probably liked like this let's play, like this video. And uh, if you did, that's awesome. That's uh, that's why I do this. That's why I share share this gameplay gameplay uh, with you. Right, I'll uh, I'll be seeing you in my uh, other let's plays. Yeah, until then, take care. Bye bye.